Hey guys, we're going to fix a couple of different bugs that we just have in our application that we have been sitting in here that we programmed at first and said we were going to come back to and just never got a chance. So the first one I'm talking about is when I register. It redirects me to the home page. So if I go uh, t at t.com and copy, paste, paste notice how it takes me here instead I really would like to go to the login page so I could just log in so this is a really easy fix it's in a register function a register component and we're pushing on OK to slash and instead let's just go to login so we'll give that a save let this refresh and now when we register we should be taken to login uh, slash register uh, b at b.com and cool so then also for our login right now we're getting taken to the home page as well when it makes more sense to be taken to view team right because right after login I'd like to see the team that um, I can create and so for example this user hasn't created a team yet so he gets bopped over here but if I log in as someone who does have a team it just takes me straight to the teams so for example Bob at Bob.com and we see we're taken right here um, it looks like a subscription does not fire off right away that's kind of interesting hello ha ah, look at that so we must be coming to this page too fast that this does not even register. That's kind of weird. All right, we'll look into that bug in a second. I want to fix some other ones first. Um, but notice that's a big bug because look at this now. I can't even type and see my message here. I have to refresh. And now it works. Okay. So the other one I was going to talk about first was the channel. So when I'm typing in my form, hit cancel. We never reset the form. So again, that's a nice, real easy one. If we pop to our components, this is the add channel modal. Um, we just need to remember to reset the form. So our reset form actually is in this sucker. I want to say we can also access it from here. We'll see. So on close, we want to do, do, do. We're going to call on close and we're going to reset the form. Now we also want to do that for down here on our on close button. But before I do, let's make sure that does work. So click over here, click out. Cool. So our form does clear now. So let's add that to our cancel button as well. So we're going to call the reset form function and this reset form is coming from our props which is passed to us by formic so we're using formic on this form with formic that higher order component it passes that that's how we have access to this so we're just creating a little function here that calls both of them so now we'll test this again cancel the text doesn't stay there perfect um, and we just need to pass in e do 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 e there we go. That way we don't get that little message here. Um, plus, cancel, plus. Cool. So we got rid of our error and we don't see these here. Next thing is when we invite people. So I already have um, Bob2 on this team. So Bob2 at Bob2.com. Let's try inviting him. Um, okay. I think it was Bob2. There we go. So nothing happens when I try to invite Bob to. We don't see any consoles, nothing. If we look at our GraphQL request, we can see we actually have an error. So let's go ahead and display the error to the user, like we did for this one. Um, so we're going to come over here to our register. Not a register form. This is our invite people modal. OK. So right now, how we're setting errors is we're normalizing them and then passing the errors in. But right now, we're getting an error. Um, called user ID uh, must be unique so we basically just wanna oh we're getting this twice 
So if we get this message, we want to basically write our own custom message because this makes no sense to the user, right? We want to tell them, hey, um, this user ID has already been added, so this email has already been added. This user has already been added. Um, so we're just going to map over the errors. So const new errors is equal to errors.map. And we can go over each error. And we kind of actually want to filter filter these out too. So actually, yeah, let's filter them out first. So let's look at the path. So I'm going to say const error length is equal to errors.length. And then we're going to filter them out. So const filtered errors is equal to errors.filter and we're going to say e e.path is not equal to the user ID and we could also um, actually just look at the message if we wanted to too that might be a better one it's this particular message that we want to uh, change so let's actually do message and then we're going to say if error length is not equal to filtered errors dot length dot length we know that we got one of these messages so we're just going to say filtered errors dot push and we're going to say um, what's the name of this field here email no it's not email is it name no it's name is email so um, here we're gonna say path is gonna be email and then our message is gonna be this user is already part of the team okay so we're getting the initial length of the um, array errors um, and we can call this errors length that makes more sense and then we're filtering the errors, getting rid of the ones that have this cryptic message. And then we're checking whether we filtered any out. And if we did filter some out, we know we had the cryptic message in there. So we're going to push on our new message that says this user is not, uh, or this user is already part of the team. So let's do bob2 at bob.com. Hit add user. Um, okay, that did not work. Let's do console.log filtered errors and see what went wrong. I'm assuming we just had this filter method did not work. Um, invite people bob2 at bob.com and let me copy this so I don't have to keep typing bob2. And here's a little array. The user is already, on, um, is already, is already part of the team. All right. Um, and the team ID must be unique. So we can filter that message out. That makes no sense either. And are we just not showing? No, we are showing errors.email and we're showing the first error. So the error for some reason is not, oh, we need to pass in filtered errors. There we go. Now I think it should show up. All right, so this user is already part of the team, cool. And we kind of ignore all errors, so we actually don't even need to filter this out if we want to. We could just say um, errors.map and say for every error, um, e.message is equal to this thingy. So if it's equal to this message, we're going to return a new object. Otherwise, just return E. So every time we come across this cryptic message, we're going to add our own message. So give that a save. Um, this might be more confusing, but I believe it'll still work. Um, let's do Bob2. This user a parent team. So it does work. So you can do whichever method you like. I think I'm just going to leave it how we were doing the filter method because that doesn't look as confusing. Okay. 
So the last thing I wanted to do was add a little plus sign here so I can click a link and uh, take us to a new page and the new page is the create team because I want to be able to, what if I want to create a new team in Slack they have a little plus button here so we're going to add that. So if we go over here to channels on our sidebar we can have that little plus sign and add it in. So what is it? I think it's this team header. Is it? No, actually it's not channels, it is teams. There we go, this is that little teams thing, the teams list. Um, and we're mapping the team ID and a uh, letter. So we're gonna just create a special one here. I'm gonna copy you and paste you in here. So this guy always goes at the very bottom and the key for this is going to be um, add team and here we're going to go to the um, create team page I actually don't know what the URL for that is I don't know if it's create team it probably is and in the letter here I'm just going to add a plus sign alright so I can click on that and cool, it takes me to my create team page so I can create new teams. So that was all the bugs I wanted to go over, but I kind of want to see what's going on with that subscriptions um, error that we saw at the very beginning and see if we can figure that out real quick. If it's a convoluted bug, I'll save it to the next video, but let's take a look at it right now. So this has to do something with our view team route. Um, and on our send message we are trying to um, base we're on our send message we are no not on the send message on the message container we're subscribing and when we subscribed it said we were getting an authentication error so let's go to register not register login with Bob 2 Bob 2 login no problem there so not sure what maybe Bob at Bob dot this guy and maybe because Bob too I need to log in with someone who's not part of the team alright looks like we connect okay so I think what the error might be is if I log in with someone who's not part of the team for example this B guy and now try logging in with bob at bob.com I think we're gonna get the error here yeah so we first have to log in with that B dude and then log in with Bob and then we get this you have to be a team member to subscribe to its message so we're authenticated we're just not part of the team that we're trying to subscribe to so I think what's happening is maybe local storage is not updating let's see what's going on I think it thinks we're the other user when we're trying to um, to do this. So I think when we set these items here, um, I'm going to say console.log um, token from login and then pass in our token and then same with our refresh token. So we'll call that our token refresh token and now we're passing um, in our subscription these tokens and that's going to be in our index no that's going to be in Apollo oh boy we have a lot of red lines let's see what's going on here I think I just need to save it yep and it'll reformat everything and okay connection parameters so here the local storage we'll do just console.log connection params uh, token is equal to local storage dot get item token and then the or that way what we're going to do is we're going to print this out whenever we set it and then we do that or we set that value 
So then the purpose of this is just to see what the value is every time we set it. Um, and this is going to be the R token. Alright, so let's let's give this a check. So here are connection parameter tokens. And so let's try logging in. B at B.com. B at B.com. And now I'm going to log in. So I'll give these a clear. All right. So there you go. That's our problem. Notice how we get these tokens here um, token from login, our token. But we don't see them refreshing here. So the WebSocket link here with these connection parameters, we need to make this, uh, looks like you can pass in a function. So maybe that will work better for us. That way it fires every time. Let's see if that works. We basically need to have it um, redo the connection parameters every time we log in. Let's see if that does it. So b at b.com doesn't look like it redid the token there so I think we're gonna have the same problem if this doesn't work I think we need to add some kind of middleware yep same thing see how the connection params don't get called again alright so this is going to require some research um, I'll look into how to add a function to this guy um, or have it run every time that we call subscribe so that way our, we're able to actually just do websockets still because this is interesting. This is an interesting little bug here. Alright, but that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will push this code up.